Jesus is the answer for the world today. Hello, good morning. Pastor Esther here. I'm joining you on a new day and I'm so glad um, that I get to start your work week with you. Um, By God's grace this morning, I just want to offer us a little bit of encouragement. Um, It seems for me, at least, I don't know about you, that although I started a new year, it feels as though 2021 has just continued And I believe that this is kind of drawn out because of the pandemic and the position that we're in. But it was as though I found myself just kind of being tired of it all. And I don't know, maybe you are tired of it all. Tired of masks and numbers and testing and mandates and everything else that has kind of come as a result of this and the ways in which it is affecting our personal lives. I know for me, Um, with my kids, um, the constant quarantining, um, it has a way of um, inadvertently creating a kind of tension that I believe we live in. And over time, uh, that tension constantly exerting pressure on us can get really, really tiring. And so as I was praying. I was just reminded of this scripture that I want to share with us this morning. Um, And I hope that we would take the time to think on this truth and let it be water to our souls. That where we are thirsty, uh, where we are in need of nourishment, that it would do that. So we're going to be reading from Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. And this is what it says. It says, so Let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. I like the translation that says, um, do not get weary in doing good for you will reap a harvest or a blessing in due time if you faint not. That's the King James Version. Um, The Bible is telling us that we should not give up. It's basically saying, yeah, I know there's a tendency to get weary, but don't stop doing good. Because here's the thing, eventually there's a moment, there's a time, there's a season coming that that good you're doing, um, it's going to bring forth a blessing. And more specifically, this good that is being talked about in Galatians uh, chapter 6 verse 9 is... Uh, good unto the Lord, spiritual good. So if you would, let's just back up a couple of verses to verse seven. It says, don't be misled. You cannot mock the justice of God. You will always harvest what you plant. Okay. Um, Another version says, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that will he reap. So here we're seeing that, listen, God is a God of justice. Whatever we sow into, meaning we put time, energy, and effort into it, it will bring forth a harvest. It's going to produce something. It goes on to say in verse 8, those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. And then in verse 9, it goes on to say, so let's not get tired of doing what is good. Um, My fellow brothers and sisters in the Lord, let us not get tired of pursuing Christ. Let us not get tired of living righteously. Let us not get tired of taking the high road and showing the love of God and the love of Christ even when it's difficult. Let's not get tired of being faithful parents and faithful stewards on a jo- in our jobs, even when they are mistreating us. Let's not get tired of serving God, especially when it feels as though it's just getting harder and harder to just get people to engage. Let's not get tired of doing our due diligence, even with this pandemic and and doing the things that we need to do to make sure that by God's grace, um, it is coming to an end. The Bible tells us that if we live to please the spirit, we will harvest eternal life from the spirit. And it goes on to say we will get blessings. 
And that passage of scripture ends this way in verse 10. It says, therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially to those in the family of faith. So this morning, I want to encourage you, um, whether you are at home with your kids and having to multitask, um, them being at home, getting their schoolwork done or work, whether you're on the way to work or you are at work, whatever it is that you're doing. Let's say you have been serving in the church or you've been serving your family or serving those around you. Um, As we continue to sow onto God, meaning that we're doing this for Christ, that the name of God would be glorified, that Jesus would be seen in us um, by his grace. Let's not give up. Um, Do not give up because a time is coming where you will see the fruit of this time of sowing and pouring in. And the Bible says that we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. So I'm here to encourage you to know that God is faithful. He will bless our faithfulness, our steadfastness. Let's Hold on to him even all the tighter, all the more, um, so that the weariness in our soul, he can quench with his love, with his presence, and with his power. But even more so, let us not give up, knowing that there is a time of reward, there is a time of reaping, there is a time of harvest, and there is a time of blessing. So God bless you. And remember to not get tired of doing good, good unto the Lord, knowing that in due season, you will reap a harvest of blessing if you don't give up. Galatians 6, 9. God bless.